Hello guys, Kelly here again from tanktime.co.uk A uh, bit of a product unboxing for you I'm going to move round, this is an All Pond Solutions EF Filter Booster It's designed to be uh, attached to another filter So I'm going to use this as a pre-filter So all the water is going to come in, go through all the sponges in here Then go to me canister filter that's got all my biological in and a little bit of mechanical but this should make it so I only get I only have to clean this a lot but not my full filter and it's quite an easy thing to go at I'll show you now so you get in the box shut off the tap a lid <laughs> one of them. Oh yeah, that's down there. Right, so, just wrap that off as I was coming through. There we go. I've already had it open once, that's why I, that, that was put in badly, obviously. Right, so, you've seen a bit of a thing, a bit of a problem that you might have that you might, no, yeah, no, they don't come off easy. It must have been proper rav by my heavy hands. So, this is what we have. Black sponge, yellow sponge, blue sponge. And a couple of these. So, all you've got there is a standard like small canister bucket with a an intake there with a stock valve on. But that does move, it's a bit stiff. And then fan sponge, medium sponge, and a coarse sponge. So everything's going to go through your coarse one. It's going to take out all the big particles through the medium one, smaller particles, and then through your really that is a really fine sponge, and that's going to collect all the little particles. So you have two of these. They're basically just to stand in so you get a bit of water space at the bottom I'll show you what's going in so that goes in there and then your selection of sponges Bosch we're in and that one goes upside down like that your lid goes on like so push it in and then click 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 Ooh. And the your final piece of kit is this and that just screws on like so and then say your water out your intake comes into there fills up goes through all that stuff out of here then into the actual canister filter down the canister filter through all that media then back into your tank so I've seen these and I've looked at them a few times and thought, well, do I need the extra capacity? But then I thought, just using that purely as a nice pre-filter to get rid of mechanical. I mean, you could put anything in there. On top of them two trays you get, you could put like ER mech in, you know, all the little corrugated circles or even, you know, your ceramic media, you know, the smooth cylinder stuff. Again, just to catch rubbish, just to catch all the particles coming through it means you've got a lot less of that in your actual main canister which then lets you put a lot more biological in there if you so wish. I think it's a good idea, especially for people whose uh, filters are on the edge. You know, if you've got a filter what's just big enough for your tank. I mean, I think these are 15 quid or 16 quid, 15.99. For £15.99 you get 1.2 litres extra in there and obviously whatever media you like. Obviously it comes with the three sponges which I'm going to run because that's good, you know, good mechanical filtration. But yeah, they'll just add a bit of extra filtration to your, or to your current system. So yeah, I will show you it running at some point when I uh, set my new tanks up because I've just had my uh, new rack and uh, 
cupboards and everything for my new fish tanks and my old fish tanks. So all my fish are in a bucket at the minute, a big bucket, nearly 300 litre bucket, or maybe even a 350 litre bucket. I think it is. So I've got I've got all that running at the minute with two um, Eco Pros on it. I'm going to run this because the oh, that's something I need to mention. <laughs> These are uh, 15 mil, so six, you know, 15 to 16. Well, it says 14 to 16. Um, internal so if it's 22 16 that's what goes on to there i've just acquired a tetra tech ex plus 1200 and that's what's going to go on to this as well for me a uh, 200 litre dual lido tank because i've just removed the lost my words just removed the internal filter which is a lot of fun i'm going to talk about that on a video as well i've got the perfect tool for removing them uh, a cranked pallet knife, amazing for getting rid of them, Get, getting that sil silicon off. Some people say there's fall off, man was a nightmare. Right, so anyway, that's the All Pond Solutions 8 filter boost. And I ain't used it yet, but I say I'll do, you'll see it running on my tank and I'll talk about it in my other videos. But up to now, very happy with it, really like it. Seems good, well built, good solid plastic. Good solid taps. Thanks for watching. Bye.